Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about right now is the Internet of Things or IoT, right? There's so many buzzwords in IT, but we're going to talk about IoT. We're not going to talk about EOT or NOT or any of those other things because a lot of those devices, I think, probably fall under IoT. So, I kind of want to, this conversation has been coming up over and over and over again, which is why I wanted to kind of talk about this. So I, you know, get into people's firewalls and they've got some of the most complicated rules to stop certain devices from talking to different VLANs. And we start talking through and they're like, well, I watched a video or I knew this guy or whatever. And I'm like, okay, we, you know, we uh, like to create rules that are simple that uh, accomplish the task. Right. And, you know, when we talk about IOT devices, it can be, yeah, cell phone uh, speakers like your Sonos. Yeah. I'm probably hitting some some chords with some folks right now. Uh, alarm systems, sprinklers, weather stations and another big one, cameras. Right. Or doorbells. What we do is we break them down into like three different classes of IOT devices. So you've got IOT devices that have to talk back to a command and control server really is what it is, right? But they're, they are completely dependent on a web service. So that's kind of category number one, completely dependent on a web service, no local control at all. Number two is one that is completely locally controlled and does not call home. Um, and then number three is a hybrid, one that you can control locally um, but can also use that, you know, command control server, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so we like to have a conversation instead of just saying, okay, this is how we're going to do it. We, we have a conversation like, okay, what kind of devices do you have? One of the things that kind of comes up over and over again is Sonos, right? And if you go out there, you can see all of the different um, forum posts about how to get Sonos to work through different VLANs and this and that and the other thing, you know, why just put your phone, which is probably what you're playing the music off of, just put it on the same VLAN. If you want your speakers, let me ask you this, is it the speakers that are the problem or is it the device that's playing it? So that's something else that you've got to look at. What device is actually the security risk and your cell phone, your cell phone is goes through war zones basically every day. Uh, you know, network, these things are hardened. Um, so maybe it's not the phone, maybe it's a piece of software or whatever. You got to know what your actual risk is, right? So there's some risk measurement um, involved in this as well. One thing um, that we do is cameras that are, um, you know, made in another country that uh, people are worried maybe calling home. And I'm not going to call the brands out. You know what they are. Uh, we create, create firewall rules for those, put them in their own VLAN. And the only thing that they can talk to is the NVR. And the NVR sits in that same network. And then we punch holes just for the NVR to be accessed. So that's one way to do it. The devices that really... Uh, really concern us the most are the ones that we have no local control over at all. The ones that are always going to have to call home and always have to talk to that server because you don't know who's in control of the server. You don't know what kind of information is coming back, right? So this device is going out. So it's establishing a connection out to the internet. And once that device or once that connection is established, it could be bringing in all kinds of other things back into your network into that device and you would never know. So those are the devices that we first and foremost concentrate on separating, creating firewall rules, logging those rules and things like that. Then the hybrid devices, we kind of look at uh, and say, OK, do we just need to block Internet access? Do we, you know, are we doing, a, you know, like an on on prem server for these? You got to evaluate it, right? And then the ones that are wholly can you know controlled locally that don't call home, those are much easier to wrangle. Now, uh, I'm just going to say this kind of generally, right? For like home networks, a lot of people with a home network, they don't care about the firmware, right? But we care about the firmware. 
So when you're looking at these kinds of devices that aren't talking out to a server and calling home, are they getting firmware updates? If you're in a business, especially a business that uh, is you know driven by compliance, you have to have firmware updates. You, you just have to. You should not be avoiding that. Home users, we're going to tell you you need them, but we know people don't. I mean, we run into devices every week that people haven't updated in a long time, like firmware is from like 2016, 2017, 2018. Update your firmware. So how do you classify these? Because that's kind of how we break it down and kind of, you know, in order of, you know, uh, what some people may see as paranoid security, right? So any of those devices that are only controllable through calling home through an app, they get the strongest amount of security. Then that hybrid, you know, we're going to be a little bit more flexible. And then the ones that we control completely on site that do not reach out to the internet at all, those are going to be the most lax. We're still going to have security. There's probably still going to be on their own same or their own uh, VLAN, but they're not going to have maybe total blocking rules or things like that. It all depends on what the device is, right? And how many devices you have. Do you have a centralized server? So there's a lot. There's no hard, fast rules. Everything needs to be evaluated, especially for the risk. And what's the risk? And can you tolerate the risk, right? It's about handling those situations. So let me know what you think down below. I'm really interested to hear what you say. I don't like using the EOT, the NOT, all that. They're all, they're all devices. They're all things that are on our network, and we need, to, we need to corral those, right? So let me know what you think down in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. All of our affiliate links are down below. And if you'd like us to evaluate your network, and talk more about IoT devices and should you be firewalling this or should you be firewalling that, reach out at willyhow.com. We also do all other kinds of consulting. Click hire us or contact us, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.